after that ribosomes small granular structures observed by for the first time jar pelade scientist जॉर्ज पेलाडे साइंटिस्ट दे आर नोन एज दट रईबोजोम्स रईबोजोम्स आर स्म ग्रान्युलर स्ट्रक्चर्स अबर्व बै द फस्ट टाइम जॉर्ज पेलाडे सैंटिस्ट दट वै दे आर नोन एज दट पलाडे ग्रान्युल दे आर नोन एज दट पलाडे granules okay generally this ribosomes are made up of ribosomes are made up of ribosomal rna plus protein ribosomal rna plus protein okay so this ribosomes are okay present in all the prokaryotic cell and eukaryotic cell all living organism having that uh, okay ribosomes that's why they are known as universal cell organella universal cell organella because they are present in all because objective it so objective it is a previous medical bit because they are present in all cell organella both prokaryotic and eukaryotic they are present because they are present in all cell, cell organella both prokaryotic and eukaryotic so they are that ribosomes okay and this ribosomes are spherical shape like structures they do not cover that membrane that's why membraneless cell organella they are described as membraneless cell organella okay after that so this ribosomes are present ribosomes are mainly two types ribosomes are ribosomes are two types mainly based on sedimentation coefficient mainly based on sedimentation coefficient mainly based on sedimentation coefficient ribosomes are two types first one is that ats second one is that uh, 70s yes. okay so in this s yes means swedberg unit so sedimentation coefficient and uh, size and density size and density ribosomes are two types ats and 70s so s means it is known as that uh, swedberg unit okay so in this ats ribosomes are 
KTS ribosomes are divided into two subunit. Large subunit is known as that uh, 60S. <coughs> it is large subunit. Large subunit is known as a 60S. Small subunit is known as that 40S. Small subunit is known as that uh, 40S. Right? Again that 70S. So 70S again having the two subunits. Large subunit is known as that 50S. Small subunit is known as that uh, 30S. One is the 80S. Second one is that uh, 70S. So, ATS present in all prokaryotes, all eukaryotes, sorry, in all eukaryotes having that ATS type of ribosomes, okay. 70S type of ribosomes present both eukaryotic and mostly that prokaryotic so in that ATS type of ribosomes in eukaryotic most only 70s is present both eukaryotic and prokaryotic in eukaryotic generally cell organella they are present in the cell organella so this is cell organella are chloroplast and mitochondria okay that is known as 70s type of ribosomes okay these two subunits are two subunits these two subunits are separated are united are united by the magnesium ions they are separated and united by the magnesium ions okay so they are known as that uh, ribosomes so these ribosomes are involved in protein synthesis process Ribosomes are involved in protein synthesis process. Okay, that's why they are known as that uh, factories of proteins. That is that objective bit, factories of uh, proteins, ribosomes, okay. <coughs> These are the ribosomes. After the ribosomes, 